with Mass Effect 3. Picked up a uh, side mission did we pick up now? Uh, Shrike Abyssal. Prothean Obelisk. Volus Diplomat needs a Prothean Obelisk. Recover it from this Strike Abyssal and deliver it to him at the Citadel Embassy. Okay, but we are on priority Citadel at the moment. So, let us carry on. Now, this is uh, Commander Bailey's office. There is no anti-humanity oh. conspiracy here, Ms. Al Jalani. The Council's simply not granting interviews at this time. My viewers are going to know that CSEC and the Council are denying them access. Oh dear. Listen, lady, you think I like playing gatekeeper between the paparazzi and the politicians? I don't have time to babysit them, and I'm not here to hold your hand. Well, I'm camping out until I'm granted an audience. Fine. I hope you brought a sleeping bag. Okay. <laughs> Sucker. Hang on, she... Commander Shepard? I was gonna say. Commander, humanity has questions. Uh, okay, so we have to speak... That. I think we speak Damn to her on our... press. I see you're keeping the peace. Yeah, I feel like a glorified doorman. <laughs> Most people would see it as a move up. Wedged in here with all the stuffed shirts? I'd rather be back down on the streets. I appreciate the higher pay grade, but I'm not a political creature. <laughs> if you didn't want to be upped, why'd you accept? You don't say no to Councillor Udina. Well, maybe you would, but I gotta live here. I know, squeaky wheel gets the oil, but I didn't lobby for a promotion like some other officers. I'm not even sure why he picked me. I never know with politicians. I hate political BS. <laughs> Bear with it. Don't lose your edge. You might need it. I oh, wouldn't mind an excuse to get my fingers dirty. <laughs> it's killing me about Earth. You and me both. I haven't been back in years. Now I may never. If this ain't the end of days, it's pretty damn close. It'd be alright, buddy. It'd be alright. Okay. Right, so that's Command Bailey's office. Um, I think Miss Al Jelani, yeah, she's standing there waiting for us, I think. So we're gonna have to see her on the way out. What's in here? Uh, this is a Spectre office, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Welcome. Aha! Quorum Pilgrim, Jen Folan, Nanima on the Citadel received large crate transfer for the fleet. Tech, high end weapon mounts, connected barrier emitters. Pilgrims are upgrading ships for combat somewhere near the Persis Vale. This could be a reaction to Reaper invasion, but no formal offer of request or request for assistance has come. Intel suggests the Quarians may instead be prepared for conflict with the Geth. Why would you fight with the Geth when the Reapers are right outside? Like, that doesn't make sense. Spectre requisitions. Yeah, that's a whole load of dollar. Oh, that's a Black Widow, though. Oh, shotgun, yeah. S 700k I'm gonna need. Damn! It's gonna be a freaking uh, whole load of cat. But we'll see. Well, 125k, so maybe it's not impossible. The further on we move into the game, we might be able to. That's a shooting range, I think. We don't need to go there for now. Um. Alrighty, uh, is it here? What's oh? Commander, Councillor yep. Udina said you'd be coming. Yep. If you'll follow me, the council is already in session. Okay, let's do this. Our own problems, Councillor. Earth is not in this alone. But Earth was the first council world hit. By our reports, it faces the brunt of the attack. By your reports. <laughs> These guys. The reports are accurate. Earth was attacked by the Reapers. And it's just the beginning. We need your help. Everything you can spare. Each of us faces a similar situation. Even now, the Reapers are pressing on our borders. 
If we lend you our strength to help Earth, our own worlds will fall. We must fight this enemy together. And so we should just follow you to Earth? Even if we were to unite our fleets, do you really believe we could defeat the Reapers? I don't expect you to follow me without a plan. Counselors, we have that plan. A blueprint created by the Protheans hey, during buddy. the war with the Reapers. Thanks for coming, A blueprint man. for what? We're still piecing it together. But it appears to be a weapon of some sort. Capable of destroying the Reapers? So it would seem. The scales. It would be a colossal undertaking. No. I forwarded the plans to Admiral Hagen. The remnants of the human fleet are already gathering resources to begin construction. Our initial calculations suggest it is very feasible to build. If we work together. Have That's you considered it. that the Reapers destroyed the Protheans? What good did this weapon do? It was incomplete. There was a missing component, here. Something referred to only as the Catalyst. But they ran out of time before they could finish building it. Do you really believe this can stop the Reapers? We gotta try, buddy. We have to try. <laughs> Liara believes it can work, and so do I. And while I haven't always agreed with Adina, he's right about this. We need to stand together. Now more than ever. That's right. The Reapers won't stop at Earth. They'll destroy <coughs> every organic being in the galaxy if we don't find a way to stop them. The cruel and unfortunate truth is that while the Reapers focus on Earth, we can prepare and regroup. Uh -huh. We are convening a summit amongst our species. If we can manage to secure our own borders, we may once again consider aiding. I'm sorry, Commander. That is the best we can do. Shepard, meet me in my office. I hope that's an offer of support. I'll be digging up what I can on this Prothean device, Shepard. They're a bunch of self-concerned jackasses, Shepard. We may have a spot on the council, mm. but humanity will always be considered second-rate. How can they be so blind? <clears throat> they're scared, and they're looking out for themselves. <clears throat> Our people are scared, and we are looking out for them the best we know how. Counselor? Commander, I can't give you what you need, but I can tell you how to get it. I'm listening. Primarch Fedorian called the War Summit, but we lost contact with him when the Reapers hit Palavin. Those meetings won't proceed without him. The Normandy is one of the few ships that can extract Primarch Fedorian undetected. So far, you've only explained how I can help you. It might seem that way. But the leaders of this summit will be the ones deciding our future. The fate of our fleets, where they fight, and with whom. A grateful Primarch would be a tremendous ally in your bid to unite us. We're at war. And you want me to play politician? If it gets you what you need... What does it matter? Unfortunately, that's what mm. we're going to have to do. It would appear. Our latest intelligence says that the Primarch was moved to a base on Palavin's largest moon. I've done all I can to help. The rest is up to you. Well, I think we have to go and rescue this Torian Primarch. There is one other thing. Yes. The Council wanted me to tell you. We've chosen to uphold your Spectre status. Oh, yeah. And various resources will be made available to you. Why, thank you. Good day. <laughs> well, that went well. It's a start. I'll talk to the others in the meantime. See if we can support this summit. Move things along. Thanks. Well, at least Udina's mm. trying. Uh, Palavin. What else are we picking up? Donnell, Udina. Oh, these are codexes, I think. Reaper variants. Let's have a look. Squad, I've got one point. Don't need to worry about that just now. Uh, okay, priority Palavin. So it would appear... The, Reaper, the Citadel races have classified the known variants of Reapers into four types. Capital ships are sovereign class Reapers two kilometers in length. I see. They typically target the Dreadnoughts, defense installations, and industrial... 
That's why the Reapers look different here, because Sovereign looked a lot darker in the older games. But, um... They all look different because they're used for different things. Okay. Well, what else am I... Ah. Humanity Alliance systems. When humanity, won a... when humanity won a position on the Council for its part in defending the Citadel, the Alliance chose Captain David Anderson for the position. Yep. Udina became his advisor. And eventually, Captain Anderson got bored of playing politics. And, uh... He moved on. Okay, so uh, I like I like this new cit citadel. There's not really much for us to do around here, which is good. Look, they've even cut it all off. Oh, there's some more models down there, and oh, then there's one guy walking between. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. They could have made this at least. They could have, you know, tidied it up a bit more. It doesn't look clean to me. Um, but at least we don't have to go traveling around the entire citadel just to do what we gotta do. Commander Shepard, Commander, the people of the Alliance have questions. Yes, I know they do. Commander Shepard. Kalisa been seen in Algelani. Isn't it true that you were on Earth when the Reapers attacked? How do you justify running away while millions of people on Earth die? Is that the best we can expect from the Alliance? I came to get help for Earth. For everyone. What about all the people suffering while you play politics with the Council? What about them? How can you stand here while our families die? What are you going to do? Kalisa. We're doing everything we can. Before they cut the feeds, there were so many dead. I'm gonna stop the Reapers or die trying. But I need your help. Yep. Keep asking the hard questions. Don't let the Council forget about Earth. I will. Thank you, Commander. She's obviously visibly shaken. We haven't always seen eye to eye. But... But like I'm glad it. you're on our side. Oh, yeah! Well, thank you. That's a compliment coming from this lady. She gave us a very hard time um, in in the previous two games. <laughs> very, very hard time. Right. So, um, if I'm not mistaken, welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select one moment, please. I don't think there's much that we can do in Huerta because actually we'll still be recovering. But we'll get now a note. We'll get a note saying that you know we can come Welcome visit. Welcome to Serta. Thank you for shopping. I'll just check quickly and see if that. But I, I, I highly doubt it. Oh. Yeah, I think she's still. Yeah, we we can't we can't do anything. Okay, let's 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 go and do. Uh, Go and rescue this guy. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Normandy D1 Docking Bay. So with this new now citadel, there are only three. Yep. At least they made those guys look a little bit. Yeah. Even that guy all the way down there. See, now they didn't have to make him. Walk or, uh, you know, along the uh, even that guy. Yeah, look. So they could have cleaned up those models. They look a little bit weird. God, these things creepy as hell. Hello, Commander Shep. This is docking note that due to recent events, official identification and weapons permits may be requested by CSEC personnel for routine verification. I don't think there's anything I need to ask. That's all. Please speak with me again if you require further assistance. That's the new and improved Avena 3.0. Uh, and this is the Normandy. Look at that. It looks nice, doesn't it? Okay, yes. We are heading off to do our second mission of the game. Oh god, here we go. <laughs> Alright, we're good. 
chase this boy. <laughs> hey, little boy. Come, little boy, wait for me. I want to play too. That sounds a little bit. <laughs> a little bit like a pedo. <laughs> Well, I, I can assure you guys, Shepard is definitely no pedo. He's a hero, <laughs> goddammit. Alright, he's gonna disappear. <laughs> that Reaper is... Well, sounds like the Reaper is right above us. How come he can run faster than me? And he, what the... This place is creepy. Creepy as hell. <laughs> hey, buddy. I'll save you, buddy. You can't help me. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, he... He's dead. Why we're made to play through it? Liara, can I help you? I've been forwarding the Turian Counselor information on the Prothean device. It can't be built without Council support, but he's not budging until their Primarch is safe. I know. Are you all right? I've been better. I didn't get what you'd call a good night's rest. <laughs> There's more to it than that, isn't there? What's really bothering you? I'm with Ashley. Calm down. Okay, 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 that's fine. People around me have a tendency to get hurt. Or worse. Ash is just the latest in a long line. Yep. She's that's a my, soldier like you. My lady. And she's a fighter. If anyone can get better on Will alone, it's her. I hope you're right. Don't blame yourself, Commander. Commander Shepard? I'm Specialist... Oh. Uh, I, I beg your pardon. I thought you were alone. I was just leaving. Jesus. Commander Shepard, I'm Com Specialist Samantha Trainer with Alliance R&D. I was part of the team retrofitting the Normandy after you turned it over to the Alliance. Looked like she had a big there head there for a second. When the Reapers <laughs> hit. But that was just her hair. Slow down, Specialist Trainer. You're doing fine. Thank you. I worked in a lab. I never thought I'd be serving on a ship. Why don't you tell me about the retrofits? The ship's in line with Alliance regs now, and it has new, top-of-the-line, quantum entanglement communicators. Okay. In fact... Admiral Anderson had intended to use the Normandy as his mobile command center. That's no longer an option. Yes, I heard he chose to stay and fight. I in any event, I'm honored to serve under you, Commander. For as long as you need me, that is. They only sent me here to oversee the retrofits. Shepard, some of our systems require further testing, and Specialist Trainer has been extremely effective during installation. Oh, very I good. prefer that she remain. Well, no. Got it, Edie. Wait, since when does a virtual intelligence make requests? She's no... Edie's an AI. Ordinary. Fully self-aware. Oh, I knew it. I knew Joker was lying. <laughs> Jeff requested that I pretend to be a simple VI to protect myself. I apologize for the deception. <laughs> Thanks, Edie. And I apologize for all those times I talked about how... Mm, attractive your voice was. <laughs> anyway, shall I give you a tour? I think you'll be impressed by the new upgrades. Okay. In the CIC, you'll find the galaxy map where you can set the Normandy's destination. You can also check your messages at your private terminal. The War Room houses a strategic command center for mission-specific uh... intel and war analysis. The shuttle bay contains an armory where you can modify your equipment between missions. Finally, Liara has set up a lot of hardware down in the old XO office on deck three. I think she's claimed that room. <laughs> and there you are. Still the same ship as before, it just flies Alliance colors now. 
Speaking of which, I believe Admiral Hackett would like to speak to you at the VidCon. Okay, well, I guess we gotta go speak to Admiral Hackett. Oh, no, he's here already. Commander. Udina updated me on your meeting with the Council. Sounds like they're running scared. We did present them with a lot of unknowns. They're feeling threatened and want immediate solutions, not theories. Theories are all we've got right now. What's your plan? I'm trying to get the Turian Primarch for a summit meeting with the Asari and Salarians. I'll bypass the Council and appeal directly to their leadership. That's good, I like it. This is where we start laying the groundwork for our counterattack. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot to back it up right now. Then build alliances. Gather everything and everybody you can for the cause. What about the Prothean device? Find me people who can help build it, and if you can't, I'll take ships, soldiers, supplies, whatever you can get. We need to keep hitting the Reapers across every theater of war they open. Buy us time to figure out the device. And when it's finished? Assuming it ever is, we pool all our resources. Think of it as a giant armada for delivering the device, when the Reapers are most vulnerable. The stronger you can make that armada, the better the chances of punching through. Very true. What about Earth, sir? We'll just have to hope Anderson and what's left of the Alliance forces can hold out until we've dealt with the enemy. I understand. Good. Then make it happen, Commander. I'll be expecting regular updates on your progress. Hack it out. Hack it out. Uh, after my stream, buddy. After the stream, I'll be on. I want to try and get uh, through as much of this game as I can. <clears throat> so, this is the war terminal. The people, weapons, armies... Uh, and fleets that you've accumulated are your war assets. The overall readiness of the galaxy determines how effectively these assets will perform in the final battle. So as you can see, I've got a 100% readiness rating now. Kieran, don't cry. <laughs> okay, engineering core, 103rd, 1st fleet, 3rd fleet, 5th fleet, Diana Alas. Oh god, Diana. Hmm. <laughs> Normandy, mineral resources. And, uh, oh, Kalisa. Oh, yes, she's joined. Oh, very nice. Very nice. So, we need to cross that line. That, I guess that will be the minimum. So, we need to try and get as far this way as we can. Okay, well. Um, let's see. Is there anything that we can or should be interacting with? What's in here? Ah, okay, that's where we spoke to Admiral Hackett. And this is the way out. <clears throat> Did I? Yeah, I was gonna say it. Ah, this is where Joker ran around uh, when the collectors came aboard the ship. I think there are some some things uh, hidden around the ship that we do pick up. Kind of, I guess they're kind of hoping we explore everything. I can't believe the council won't help. Come on, Sarah. If Thestia was lost and Earth hadn't been touched yet, you can be damn sure we'd be guarding our own borders. Oh, very nice. Oh, is there anything on there? Nope. Well, well, that still looks like the same ship. It's a little bit darker, if anything, but... <laughs> and did we used to have several levels here? Commander, the Alliance has found a new Cerberus lab on Sanctum. Admiral Hackett would like you to investigate. Ah, Sanctum. Okay. Uh, let's check out these um, review messages sent to you. Okay, special ops. Cerberus, okay, reinstatement. 
Okay, we are back. Okay, Quarian fleet. Uh, they want they want to fight the the Geth. That's what they want to do. I don't know why they would pick such a crazy time to fight the Geth. That would weaken them both. Seems like a very pointless exercise, but there you go. Let's see if there's anything or anyone. Well, obviously, oh no 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 no! Don't go out. We have Joker. Where's Edie? Yo, is Edie's in the ship now? Hey, Commander. You know, I had my doubts about the Council. But after years of ignoring your warnings, they're finally willing to step up and tell you they just can't help. <laughs> they're doing everything they can. Did they at least validate our parking? <laughs> well, let me know if you want me to get them on the channel and then hang up on them. You know, for old time's sake. <laughs> Joker, you will never change. He's a, he's a great guy. Let me see what else is on this ship. This is obviously our first... Uh, encounter on the ship. Also, they've reduced the amount of real estate, so you can't go through here anymore now. So, ah, so they've made the traveling a lot quicker. So, we came from there, we're here. Let's check out the crew deck very quickly. Uh, names of people who died, I'm assuming. Ah, Caden Alenko, he's right there on the left. These are all the people that died in the uh, in the collector situation. Uh, obviously, Elenko died in Mass Effect One. Uh, crew quarters. Okay, still looks the same. These used to be open: women's restroom and men's restroom. Oh, the men's is open anyway. <laughs> I guess that's closed because we're not supposed to go there. Nothing for us to pick up. Okay. Um, life support. This is where Thane used to sit. But Thane, we don't know if Thane's still alive or not, do we? There you go. Picked up something else. Destiny Ascension. That's right. So, I'm assuming that when the uh, ship got pounded to hell by the collectors, all the things from my cabin just flew everywhere. And that's why we're having to pick them up in weird locations. This is where Zaid used to sit. It's now being converted into a a nice little mini bar. It's quite nice actually. I'm guessing that's some kind of entertainment module. Very nice. Me like it. Ah. I guess the guy's got to learn how to chill, right? You have to be able to unwind. So, coming out here, that's the same. This is where uh, Garrus would stay. I'm assuming. Yeah, this would be Garrus' station. There's nothing for us to pick up here. Okay. Let's move on. So yeah, like I say, obviously this is the first time I've been able to um, explore this ship. Since Mass Effect 2. Is that chef still there? No, he's not. These guys are different. And what's her name is in there? Well, we'll see her in a minute. Let's see Dr. Chakwas. Hello, Dr. Chakwas. Commander. Everything okay down here, Doctor? The Alliance team cleaned up and restocked, but it's still my old med bay. <laughs> Feels like home. Welcome back. Thank you. Let's waste no time, if I may. I'd like to examine you. Nothing wrong with me, is there? No, but we should keep an eye on all those cybernetic implants Cerberus grafted into you. Oh, yeah. Expensive stuff, bringing me back. 
Not worth every penny. Let's just make sure everything is okay. Better Guess a checkup sorry. never hurts. Just no scalpel this time, Doc. Alas, <laughs> to my great disappointment, it is nothing invasive. I'm just going to run some diagnostics on your implants, and it'll take a few readings. Good. Your implants are showing little sign of rejection. Just keep up that positive outlook of yours, Commander, and your scars shouldn't return. That's it. You're the picture of health. <laughs> How's our inventory of meds? The med bay was fully stocked before you left Earth. We should be good for a long time, even given the amount of fire you take each day. Do you ever regret working for Cerberus? We didn't work for them. We used them. If I were to feel anything, it would be guilt. <laughs> we took their money, took their best people, took their best ship. We used them to defeat the Collectors, and now we are using their resources against them. I'm liking her so thought no, process. I don't regret it <laughs> one bit. Oh, well. Very nice. You've never mentioned any of your family. None to speak of, really. I'm the last of a prestigious line of medical professionals. The Alliance is my spouse. And you are all my children. Aww. I'm blessed with many close friends. But with each Alliance vessel taken, I lose one or two. We need to end this war. I couldn't agree more. I'll see you around, Doctor. Take care, Shepard. Let's frickin' end this war. Ah, uh, reassign power bonuses. Yeah, well, we don't want to do that. We don't need to do that. This is where Le Ah, ED. Well, this is the thing that got burnt up on Mars. So, we'll check that out later. Um, our next destination. Because I'm pretty sure she has something she wants to say. Ah, here we go. She got this all worked out. <laughs> Madam Information Broker. That's what she is. Uh, okay, calm down. Greetings, Commander Shepard. Huh. What are you? I'm Glyph, a VI assistant to Dr. Tassoni. I help her sort and catalog collected data. She's asked me to draw your attention to a terminal connected to her information network. It analyzes information packages. If you find any useful data, I can research upgrades for you. All right. And what should I be looking for? I'll inform you if you've found relevant data. When you do, return to this terminal for your choices. In the meantime, Dr. Tassoni would like to speak with you. Have a pleasant day. Why, thank you. Meeting with the okay. county. Liara? What is all this stuff? After you left for Earth, I had the chance to track down the information trader who'd kidnapped my friend. It wasn't easy, but I found the Shadow Broker and took over his information network. You're running that from the Normandy? What I can. Not all of the old broker's networks remained intact, but I have agents. So you took over as the galaxy's most famous information trader? Notorious might be a better <laughs> term. At least it means I can help research this Prothean device. It's far too dangerous to use until we understand it. Did the Protheans actually complete this weapon? You mean, will it work? They wouldn't have poured their last resources into this device if they thought otherwise. Wow. Well. But we really need to find out just what kind of weapon they left us. It'd be nice to know we're not kids playing around with a loaded gun. Absolutely. The damage it could cause if it backfired is unthinkable. People were finally starting to listen before the Reapers came. If we'd had a little more time, maybe Earth wouldn't. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to talk about it. Sorry, right, Liara. means a lot, Liara. Thanks. You're welcome. And since I didn't mention it before, it's good to be back, Shepard. Oh. Okay. Okay. Love.